Now I am going to assign a lump port to port 1. Port HFS is an excitation. Assign lump port 15 on the next new line. Defined. If here come defined, it means lump port is perfectly de defined. Click next and finish. Lump port to port one. Similarly, I'm going to assign a lump port to port two. This is on a sign port. Citation assign long port. Yes. Next new line. Perfectly defined. Click next finish. Okay. You can check here from here. Excitation. Port two. Yes, it is perfect. Similarly, port one. The perfect. Air bound is perfect. E to perfect design. This is perfect. E to ground. Go to analysis, right click and add solution, set up. And in search paper, solution frequency is given, which is mid frequency. I am given 3.4 to increase number of passes. Now to 20. It is in 3.4 kilohertz and 20. Click on OK. Go to analysis and set up one head frequency speed sweep. Here yeah. is analysis set up one head frequency sweep. Here different different types of gear given. First we going to do linear setup and start start frequency or 0.5 and star frequency up to 5 kgards it will start from 0.5 kgards and stop to 5 kgards and step size is my smaller it is good I'm going to give 0.01 kgards after this click on OK After this, you can see here analysis setup one sweep. Now I'm going to check validation. It's perfect. 3D design is perfect. Boundary excitation is perfect. Analysis, everything is perfect. But now there is one thing missing. Radiation box. Now we can see that here is a very big area. And radiation box we create inside there. Inside that box, we will study the radiation of our filter design. Now I am going to create a radiation box by using a box. No, no, no. First of all, I will change my X by X.
put the, the, these detail click on ok and check from all sides the complete design is inside this box yes from x axis it's ok z axis from minus x axis y axis it's perfect yes and assign boundaries to the box radiation radiation click ok yes and check from here radiation it has it's a radiation box as we know that every antenna or filter that working here but not in vacuum so I am going to change the materials uh, vacuum here click ok yes material is signed yes we have studied we have done this we have done this much this is our complete design after doing that you must check the box to sign something like here yeah. because we are assuming that the hardware is working in air yeah, air medium cylinder as a copper is a good conductor substrate must assign a new material lump of we assign to a we have to sign to a power one and power two and perfect E to our filter design and ground. You can also check it from here. Perfect E, yes. To ground. This is to a radiation box. In excitation, you can check. Both one or both two. Excitation is given. Analysis setup. From all this doing, you can check it from this validation. These are all must be take true. Now our design is complete. Now I am going to analyze this. It will take some time. It will take sometime 10 minutes, sometime 20 minutes. And after that we will discuss S millimeters, bandwidth, how different bandwidth are created, bandwidth of different bands, and we have created a tri band band bus filter. Does it working properly? And we will discuss other basic features of filter like insertion losses, return losses. That will be in our next lecture. Now I am going to analyze it.